SVG's Jason Dackman, we are live at the NAB show in Las Vegas, and I'm here with a, a good friend of SVG, Carlos Wantanabe of Dolby. Carlos, thanks so much for taking the time, really appreciate it. Pleasure, it's always good to be here at NAB. Always a blast, and, and you guys are going to be extremely busy from what I've heard uh, at your booth. Give us a little bit of an idea of what Dolby is going to be showcasing uh, at NAB in Vegas this year. Yeah, so of course this year we're going to be showing uh, Dolby Atmos which has been, become already the de facto standard for immersive audio for premium entertainment on TV, movies, series, music, and most, most recently cars. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, all of the major streaming providers already delivered. So it's, like it, it's, it's available at Netflix, at Amazon, Disney, HBO. So it's, it's really becoming the de facto standard. And the second big thing we're going to be focused on this year it's Dolby Vision for live sports. So mm -hmm. Dolby Vision is the Dolby's flavor of HDR, and HDR has become, and it's becoming more and more important for life as well. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you just said it. We have seen HDR really be embraced by the live sports production community. That 10 H 1080p HDR sweet spot uh, allows you to have live production workflows that you're used to, but also that really beautiful image on the other end. Have you seen the live sports organizations, um, you know, the large media organizations, the leagues and stuff, uh, start to embrace Dolby Vision more and more as HDR has become more commonplace? Yeah, we're seeing several partners already launching it. So we've seen that, uh, uh, for instance, Comcast here in the US already delivered Dolby Vision on uh, every 4K event that they put out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, even more important than that, I mean, we're seeing that HDR in, part in, in general and Dolby Vision in particular has becoming more and more enhanced in, 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 in consumer song. Right. So you see uh, uh, every 4K TV nowadays is HDR. And we estimate that over 80% of US households already have a 4K TV at their home. So your audience is already experiencing HDR today with their Netflix, Disney, and Amazon, and, and all of the others. Right. So uh, HDR in sports is not an if, it's inevitable, it's when. Right. And right. Dolby Vision for us, in the Dolby's perspective, is the best way to deliver HDR to your audiences for a few reasons. One, uh, consumers already know that Dolby Vision is the best way to experience HDR. They already seen it with all of the uh, streaming services. Two, it provides a, a consistent experience and broadcasters can be uh, uh, confident that the image they are producing is actually being properly reproduced at, uh, uh, at consumer's home. Right. And that's a big difference from generic HDR flavors where, especially on lower end TVs, the image can be all over the place. Sure. So Dolby Vision provides that consistency. And finally, uh, with Dolby Vision, because it, it carries metadata, it guarantees that the look and feel that the operator wants to deliver is actually seen by consumers and prevent the TVs from altering the, the key image. Right. You, you control your own destiny more than you would with uh, another flavor, right? Because you know exactly what it's going to look like from production all the way to, to play out on the, 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 uh, the set at home. Right. Exactly, and that's one of the biggest values of Dolby Vision. I mean, you control the experience, and, and as few people understand is the fact that uh, the other flavors of HDR today, they don't really have uh, a, a standard implementation on televisions. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see very different images uh, when you receive that, the same signal in different TVs. With Dolby Vision, uh, because we certify all the TVs that goes out there, uh, we guarantee that the algorithm that decodes and delivers that image is very consistent. Right. Well, we're very excited. Obviously, uh, we saw Atmos become, like you said, the de facto stand for, standard for immersive audio. Now we're excited to see what HDR is going to uh, you know, play out and, and how Dolby Vision will play out. Carlos, really appreciate you, ta you taking the time. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. And I'll see you all at the West Hall booth uh, 3031. Make sure to check it out. There'll be all kinds of fun stuff on both the audio and video side. For more news from the NAB show floor, check out sportsvideo.org and our sports tech at NAB blog.